you know, the nice thing about this site when I first saw the project was that it was a, it was a clean slate. It was ready to go and screaming for some fun. And one thing we really like to do is the idea of rooms in the garden. So when I first came here, it was all open and lacked any kind of intimacy or personal space. So we went on to create these different rooms that you see here. They wanted to reuse their existing deck, but it needed a retrofit. They were 100% interested in having a pool. And after we got our clients' wish list, we didn't know if we would be able to fit everything they wanted in the space. We were very lucky on the site that we were able to get the pool in, but the client did have to make sacrifices. So this little patio area was not able to be the 16 by 16 foot size that we really like, but they were okay to make that sacrifice for the pool. I really like with man-made stones that you call them what they are. They're man-made stones. They're not trying to be a tumbled stone or what have you. So we went with nice and simple in a running bond pattern. We did feel that it was getting to be a lot of stone around the pool, so we wanted to soften it up and just have a few lines to break it up with some softscape. And one thing we love to do is we love planting right to the edge of the pool. It's just a beautiful look. It makes the pool feel natural and uh, less concrete, less hardscape. It really is a big deal to our firm that we know plant material and we know how to incorporate plant material. So the client really wanted privacy, but to code, you're only allowed to go six foot six for a fence. So our loophole is to bring in columnar trees that give more privacy. Our clients are busy, they've got other things going on. Plants are a lot of work. So we've sourced out great plants that are very simple. The ornamental grasses get cut back in the springtime and you're done and they look great all winter long. The other thing that's really great about this garden is this beautiful Hakani Kloa grass, and then we have this nice structure of an evergreen yew hedge, which stays green all winter long, and we love the beach hedge. The nice thing about this garden was after we located the pool, we really wanted to have a destination nook. And the client was involved, it's great. We love people who are into design and we can have a working relationship with. And the client found the shipping container and really wanted it. So we plugged it in at the back of the garden, was the best place for it. And we created a little destination point as you go to the back of the garden. For outdoor recreating, it's a great spot. There's a TV and there's a bar and there's a nice fire. And it just to see that fire going, as you look across the pool, you just want to head back there. So we designed this garden for our client about four years ago, and it's just a great oasis for them to come and spend in, all the time in the backyard and not have to go to the cottage. They're at the cottage right now. <laughs>